What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to a case recap video. So today we're going to be recapping my breakthrough case that I did on my channel just recently. So I opened up six boxes of breakthrough. As you guys can see here, I've got my little my little setup here. Um, we've got all six of the empty breakthrough booster boxes. The case is in my cupboard, but that's unnecessary. But here we go. So we have the the two piles of commons here. So you can see in the background, I've got my cards here. It's about two cards high, full of um, commons there. Then we have the two pile of two piles of uncommons, which is pretty sweet as well. Um, my spare reverses here, so I got a nice little pile. As you guys can see, they're all all reverses. Look at that chest bin, one of the f three in the set. But um, and then here's all my spare rares, just for your regular rares, which I have a whole yeah, an absolute whole heap there. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but yeah, so now let's get into the display. As you can see, I'm missing one card there from the reverse set. But let's have a quick, quick look through these here. Uh, so let's let's go like this. So we go. So I'm missing the Simi Sage. Just on that first page there, I've got all three little chest pins there. Then on the back here, we've got all these. Kind of just going to quickly scan through these so you guys can see. Um, next page, we're missing another monkey. We're missing um, Simi Seer up the top there. Kind of get through like that. Oh, on the back, we're missing um, Empoleon. But as you can see, we've got that page relatively full. So what's that? That's two missing so far. Then that page is complete, which is sweet. On the back there as well. Awesome. Another complete page. Just pretty sweet. On the back. Once again, complete, complete. So we... From the case, we've actually managed to get a lot of the reverses. We got a nice range. We got the Zoroark reverse there, which is pretty, pretty hefty price-wise at the moment. Um, then we have the Veltor, Bronzor, Bronzong, all that sort of jazz there. Flogger Spritzy. We're missing a Romatisse reverse there, so that makes three. Then we're also missing the Noivern regular rare there. So I've noticed that we're missing a lot of the rares, so that's four four rares total there. Oops, so did I did I do that? No, I probably didn't. There we go, we got this page is full as well. Another full page, so I think we're only missing four from what I know, because I believe I have all the reverse trainers. Oops, let's get a nice nice shot of that. Cool, and then the last page in a little bit. So yeah, that awesome looking parallel city. And then the last two, it's just there. Yeah, so we're missing four cards from the reverse side of things, which is not too bad. Not too bad at all. And then next we're going to go into the spares. So I just got a nice little pile of spares here. You can see my ancient orange and spares are in the same kind of binder here. But here we go. Here's breakthrough. So we got, it's kind of all scattered, we got some Typhlosions, Empoleon, Artillery, Gengar, Memo, Swine, all that sort of jazz. Next page, got another Galley, another Artillery, more Gengar, another Chesnot, Vivian, uh, Vivian sorry, uh, Magnezone. Awesome. So as you can see, I got lots of lots of double ups here, and then Meloetta and Galate to finish off that, and then we go into kind of like spare EXs and stuff there. Um, and then we got here, we got the ultra rares. So let's keep it all this way. So we got a couple of breaks there. We got a spare Mewtwo EX and Houndoom EX. Oops, I'm starting to get sore, so we'll just kind of hold it down like this. Then we got Chesnaut, a couple of breaks there. Some U2s. But as you can see, the pulls were just crazy. We have so many extra pulls. Um, I actually traded for that one for my brother. I gave him a couple of pins and stuff. And he was like, yeah, here, have my um, spare Mega Glalie. I'm like, sweet, sweet, sweet. 
and then that ends it. So yeah, we got plenty there. I'll show you guys uh, the up close and personal from each box of all these ultra rares in the upcoming scene, or if not shown before this uh, this clip. But yeah, so yeah, the rest of the rest of the binders kind of just got some more pulls in there. Um, but then next on, after we get through that, we're gonna have a look at this here being the set itself. So let's get nice and comfy, something like that. So as you can see, this is actually complete. So let's keep going. So we got the Chesnaw, the Chesnaw Hollow, and the Chesnaw Break there on that page. Vivalon Hollow. Then we got the Typhlosion and Houndoom there, Mega Houndoom. Next page, we got Artillery. We've got Glalie and Mega Glalie down there, and Polyon Hollow. Nice. So that completes the water side of things, pretty much. Then we got Froki, Frogadier, Raichu. Magnazone Hollow there, we got Raiko, Gengar, and then all the Mewtwo's down there, minus Mega Mewtwo Y, which is on the next page just up here, Miss Magius as well, then we got the Marowak Break just down there on that page, Mamoswine, Gallade, Meloetta, then we got the Zoroark Hollow and Zoroark Break, which is awesome. Evelsor. Next page. So we've got the Florges Break there, which is one of my, my first break I ever pulled, actually. Uh, we got the Xerneas Hollow there. We got Haxorus Hollow at the top there. The no Noivan Break. That ends that page. Now we're on to the Colorless page here. Cool, so nothing, nothing too special there. It's kind of just like commons, uncommons and regular rares. Now we're onto the trainers. Nearly done. Literally fills up the whole binder. This set is just huge. Parallel City, awesome super rod, town map, couple of the new ones. So cool, so that ends that there, so that back of, back, back of that page is empty, and then we go on to the full arts, so these things are crazy. So let's get a nice shot of these. So we got Houndoom, Mega Houndoom, Glalie, Mega Glalie, Mega Mewtwo X, I uh, no, just the normal Mewtwo X, sorry. The X kind of colour scheme, so you got the blue colour scheme, then you got the red colour scheme, which is like your Y Mewtwo, then you got the Mega Mewtwo XEX and then you got the Mega Mewtwo Y EX. Then we got Bridget. Next page. And the final page we have Giovanni Scheme. We got the blue secret rare Mewtwo and then we have the red secret rare Mewtwo. As you guys can see there, that's 163 out of 162 and 164 out of 162. Oh, my hand is getting real sore. And then we have the, the pre release promo as well, which is awesome. Cool. So, by the way, so that wraps up kind of the um, overview of everything that I have got from the case. So this is what I got for about 790, 800 Australian dollars for six boxes, I believe it was. So it's about uh, probably about 90 US dollars a box. So it's not too bad price-wise. And you, as you can see, we just get a lot of stuff. You can see it just in the back there. It's just crazy. We just have a whole heap of stuff, and I really enjoyed um, opening all the stuff for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed um, watching me open this, and I hope you enjoy enjoyed watching me recap my experience with the case and all that sort of stuff, and I'll see you guys in the outro.
Alrighty guys, so that's my whole breakthrough experience kind of recapped into one video, all my pulls, all the spares, all that sort of jazz. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below if you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of uh, the case recap. It is a giant spoiler video, but it is kind of good for those people that just don't have the time to watch like 40 minutes for like one box opening alone, you know what I mean? Times that by six you got hours like three hours of openings but yeah let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the case recap and su subscribe if you're new to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next opening thanks for watching peace